Hey what's up David here with After Video Effects and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how I created this mirror dimension effect from Doctor Strange or recently the new Spider-Man No Way Home film. So uh, let's not waste any time so let's get straight into it. So here's what we're going to be creating. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. So I'm just going to show you what I did here. So first thing I did was I got my background uh, template here. So this is just some footage I got from, I don't know, Pexels, I believe the website was called. I can't remember exactly, but I think it was considering this title here. Um, yeah, don't worry. I'll leave a link for where you could download all the footage and I'll even provide the project file as well. So here's my background. And I got a adjustment layer and just added some curves here. I just wanted to brighten up this area here because it looked a little too dark. And if I did some color correction, we got a little bit of a high contrast. So that's what I did. So just got a max uh, mask tool, sorry. And just feather that out a little bit. Okay. And I've got a displacement for that like mirror glass. Uh, dimension effect and the way I created this was I got a displacement map and I'll show you the displacement uh, texture it's basically this and all it is is trap code mer 3 and I just spread it out and just played with some of the settings here so you can have a look my settings here so it's just all this it's not much pretty simple and I also even added a uh, noise evolution. Uh, I can find that animation uh, expression here. Sorry, and just times fives, and just get a little bit of that uh, animation happening for the mirror dimension. So that's what I did for the big scale. And then with that, I just added in a bit back that in. And I just added in a little bit of that, like a little bit of luminance. So if you want to have a look here, yeah, it's just set to add and the opacity is like 15%. Nothing much, nothing special. Okay. And then I added in a smaller displacement just for a bit of detail. And I just made sure it was in within this area. So I used the mask tool again. And then just feathered it out. And I'll show you the displacement map for this. And it's pretty much the same as the previous one, the big scale. Um, I just changed the evolution expression. And I just adjusted some. So I just made it like a bit more uh, compact within this area. So I think, yeah, I think it was like 2000 or something. I just made it confined into this uh, square and not much of the settings were changed. I mean, like I just made it a bit smaller, that's all. So that's what I did for that. And then I added in my luminance again. Again, just using the displacement map and just setting it to opacity to 10%. Uh, actually, I might just give you a visual look of what it actually looks like. So that's what it actually looks like and if I just bring that all the way up. So that's what the, the pass, uh, displacement map looks like, sorry. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. And what I did was I added in this element 3D car. And you can see how it's like all displaced and whatever. Because I used the Luma mat to displace it and I put my displacement map on top of it. So that's important. So you got to remember that. So I'll show you the mirror reflection. So all it is, is just my background plus my displacement map. So you can see here, it's just that. Uh, and then my element 3D car is just a simple car. So like that. And I set the track mat to Luma mat. Okay. So that's all it is. And next, I entered my real car that's going to go 
inside the mirror dimension like portal i guess i don't know what's actually called it's just like yeah whatever um let me show you the scene setup yep very simple just the car itself and i have a plane here just to show some match shadows here so you can see here um just to show you how i did that materials setup just turned on match shadow that's all it is if i turn it off you can see it's just a plane here and just turn on match shadow and that's it uh for those who don't know what a match shadow is it's basically just a live action uh object that only casts the shadows and makes everything invisible uh so yeah that's pretty much it so i'm creating like a real shadow but it's only visible to light if that makes sense um with the element 3d settings it's not much difference um i just kept it very simple i just uh, the only thing i did turn on was uh ambient inclusion and shadows well i didn't turn shadows on what does that look like yeah i should have turned shadows on but i think it will speed up my render time so i'll just leave it like that uh motion blur i don't think i turned motion i think motion blur is already turned on initially so yeah and these were just my art settings here that's it and to control this i created uh, if I go into the group settings, so it's in group one, I can create a group null. And that basically controls the, I would say, mobility of the car. So this is the entrance. So if I turn on that, you can see here, if I move it, it will move that as well. So yeah. Okay, and add in some lights. So I got like two parallel lights and just a point line just to grab some of that highlight. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Add in the camera. Obviously you need that for any 3D, element 3D project. And then I basically timed it so that as the uh, car goes inside, the portal, the actual, the actual mirror dimension reflection uh, collides with it as well. So the way I did that timing was I basically made the car entry first and then I duplicated it. Um, I made sure that this car entry mobility was unlinked. So if you go into the car entry, there's this uh, option called unlink. It's basically saying when you duplicate an element 3D layer, you just unlink it so that the null, single null object is not controlling two cars at once. Because element 3D will get confused and you get all sorts of problems. So make sure you unlink it and then recreate a new one to control the mirror reflection car. I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, don't worry, I'll provide the project file. Um, but yeah, that's probably as complex it will get. Um, yeah, okay, so that's... The tricky part was just the timing and then just making sure that it collides properly and then once it collides you can actually start uh, animating your element 3d exit car so here it is right here so it comes out and yeah and i know you're probably thinking where's the reflection for this car I honestly couldn't be bothered to animate that because uh, I was just too lazy. Just took a bit of time, so yeah. Anyway, so yeah, that's the car coming out. And again, I made a null, old, null object for the car exit so that it'll come out. All right, pretty simple stuff. Yeah. Don't worry. Again, I know I said it many times. I'll provide a project file because I know it's a little complex. Okay, so once you've got that car mobility exit happening, you can go ahead and just do a bit of like uh, color correction because it kind of looks bland right now. So what you can do is add in a little bit of a flare back here. This is just optical flares. So you can see here. Uh, I'll actually show you which flare I use. I can't remember what f which flare this was. I think it was in... 
yeah, honestly, I can't remember which flare it was, so just go ahead and use any flare, it doesn't really matter. However, if you don't have optical flares, you can just use the built-in flare plugin uh, within After Effects, so I believe it was uh, flare, lens flare. Yeah, and this will work fine, and you can just change it to like, I don't know, prime or something. Yeah, this will work fine as well. So you don't have to always follow my steps as well. Okay, so next thing I did was, um, as the car comes out, I wanted to show that it was like breaking the mirror dimension portal. That's what I did. So I added some, some of these falling glass uh, stock footage. And then you can see here, it's just some glass footage just breaking through so that it looks like it's coming out as well. So I've got like two underneath the behind the car and one in front of the car as well. And I just timed it so that it kind of looks like it's incorporated within the scene here. Okay. Uh, and the last thing I did, oh no, sorry. Next thing I did was added in the saber effect just to show the headlights of the car. All it is is video copilot saber effect. Very simple setup. I didn't even change any of the settings. The only change I did was probably just the glow and the size. And I made sure it, I just animated the mask here. So like, come over here. So you can see the mask here. It's just like this little hook shape. Uh, oops. And same goes for the side as well. And then I just animated until it, to follow the headlights until off screen. And I did the same thing for the backlights as well. So I'll show you that. Just turn this half for us. So if you have a look here, yeah, so you can see if I turn off motion blur for a minute. You can see how this is just the backlight of the brakes. And I just added one up here as well. Okay. So that's what I did for just these two sabers. And then I just added in some color correction just to make it give it that uh, nice sunny uh, sunset vibe. And I just added a vignette as well. I have no idea why that's there. Okay, so just like that. I'll show you my sun color correction setup. So it's basically curves, curves adjustment, just to give it a bit of contrast, to desaturate that color. I gave it two glows, and then I just added this magic bullet looks. I'll show you what I did for this. I think I, the one I chose was classic warm fuzzy. And then that's a common one I choose. And then I just turn the strength down to about 65. So if you do 100, this is what it looks like. It's kind of blown out, but I just wanted to tone it down a bit. So that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this effect. It did take me maybe two to three days to actually get this going, but, uh, once you've got this, it's just a matter of time experimentation. That's all it is. Um, yeah, and if you add up all those steps, you get this effect. Okay, guys, so that's it for the tutorial. Uh, I know it was quite intense. Uh, for some of you, um, for those who didn't understand a single thing, please download the project file. I think it will answer most of your questions. If you don't have Element 3D, I'm sorry to say this, but uh, you'll probably get an error saying that your program can't find the plugin because obviously you don't have it. So don't worry too much about it. Just turn these off and just have a look at the displacement mat. Look at the color correction. Look at 
timing and stuff like that. I just hope you get something from this tutorial because, um, yeah, that's what it's all about, just learning something new. Um, but other than that, if you guys do have Element 3D, uh, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you learned something new. Um, but other than that, guys, um, there are alternate options that you can do this effect. You can use Blender. You can incorporate your car as well into Blender as well by tracking your scene here and then maybe just animating the car going forward and coming back. And the Luma mat uh, displacement should work with the reflection. You just have to print off, uh, render, uh, not print off, sorry, render off three copies of your rent, the car. One going in and one coming out and one as a reflection. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. But other than that, yeah, I'll provide the footage, I'll provide the car, I'll provide the project file, I'll provide everything for you guys. Uh, I can't provide these falling glass because these are actually, I. they have a copyright for them. So if I am, to, I'm actually just selling it for free without the company's permission. So I can't do that. So, but uh, feel free to find some on YouTube, feel free to some on like stock footage websites and hopefully you can uh, find what you need. Okay, I know I'm rambling on, so I'll just conclude here. So, uh, thank you everyone. My name's David. I hope you learned interesting techniques that you can use for your own creations. Please give a like if you like this video so people can find it. Subscribe if you want to see more and be sure to hit that bell button to get the notifications. And comment down below if you have any questions. And I will see you in the next video.